Let's go up into the roof. If you're curious, the lights I'm using were VYC. Big Clive did a teardown of one of these. They've got a 6550 cell. I don't remember what they're called. The standard lithium ion batteries in them with a nice strong magnet. Really, really, really simple and really good. So I'm using these to light up the attic before I bring you up because otherwise it's just going to be a black void. <sighs> Can I do this without damaging my lavalier mic? <sighs> Being up in this attic is uh, hmm. two out of ten. Danger, not a step. Ta-da! <laughs> I'm having too much fun doing this. What the hell? So this is not the right way to do it, but it'll do for the amount of time I plan to use it. Focus on that. You can do it. These are your standard banana jack um, connections usually used in stereos. They're heavy enough that I think the 10 amps I'm looking to push through these should be fine, especially because I plan to do it for a relatively short period. So the trick is I need to get a hole through the wall above the desk. So my house is a back split, meaning that the back of the house is about half a meter taller than the front of the house. So this wall you're looking at right here above my desk where I usually do the filming is actually exposed to the attic on the other side. So I'm gonna poke a hole right around there somewhere to mount this banana jack. It would be nice if I could use one of these. However, the it's missing the nail. It's supposed to have a nail on it. Anyways, it'd be nice if I could use one of these, but to get the nails driven in, usually you have to cut a pretty big hole in the wall. I don't want to do that because I painted this like a year ago. Yeah, I could patch it and I could fix it, but I'd rather not if I didn't have to. So these here, you can see this was used, are designed for low voltage. In my day job in IT, it's not uncommon to use one of these to drop network cable connections. So you can just poke a little hole and these flaps, you put a, let's see, try to do this one-handed, you put a screw through here, you fold the flap up, and the screw grabs it and pulls it tight against the wall. You can only use it for low voltage, but it means that your hole can be a lot smaller, you can make it a lot prettier. So I'm hoping to use one of these in the orange box. Oh God, I really need those nails. <sighs> My fault, I should have looked. If you're the kind of person who goes to a hardware shop and steals just little bits you need, you're a bad person, very bad person. Anyways, so now I'm short one of these. Um, hmm. Okay, so for now what I can do is use one of these and leave the other end dangling. Um, I can get some, you know, the strapping you use for old fashioned plumbing to hold up the other end. So that's what I'll do. Oh, I hope I don't break this. I really wanted to have my GoPro back by now, but that's taking a long time to get fixed. All right, let's see how I can do this. This is gonna be a little shaky. I'm very sorry. Please just deal with it. Oh, this is going to be so fun. If you ever climb up into your attic and it's for the first time, be mindful that you have to keep your weight spread on the beam. So there's, there's a beam right there. I don't know if you can see that. You can see that beam there. Do not put your weight between the beams. If you do that, you're going through your ceiling. Oh, and just for added fun, let me show you what the ceiling looks like. Everywhere you look, just filled with nails. I gotta say, this is the best lighting that's ever been up here. So this is the BX. You can see that's the conduit that it's run up in from the basement. I think some people were concerned about the fact that I was using plastic conduit. The wire is armored. It's metal. The plastic conduit is only there to make it easy to fish wires up and down in the future if I ever want to change these out for some reason. If you remember the vent that was spinning when I was up on the roof last time, that's it right there. So there's the solar deck and the panels are right there. So these 
or what's the BX is going to go through to connect to the solo deck up there, which you can't see. This is going to get noisy. Oh, holy shit, this thing gets heavy. Let me see if I can bang this out. Oh, that was actually pretty easy. This will tell me if it's the right size. Oh, it is. Oh, gloriously it is. Okay, so I can run a piece of conduit from here, straight down to there. I only needed the one box after all. Okay, cool. There's the box, there's the vent, and right here is that little ledge I showed you above the office desk. Well, this just changed everything. That's not drywall. That's the load beam. Um, maybe I come in through the top, but mama don't muss with load bearing walls. Actually, if I come through the roof right in the top right corner, I have the best chance of putting the wiring where it'll be least noticeable, except if you're sitting at the desk, which is good because I don't plan to close it up. Whoever lives here next is going to have a lot of fun question marks. What the hell? Why was this done this way? And they will never know. Unless, of course, they find this YouTube channel, in which case they'll know everything. And they may want to move. That's the frame of the house. That feels like the... So this was tar paper backed. Uh... Hmm. Yep, I went through the drywall. Okay, you know what? I'm going to leave this here, stuck it out, and we're going to go back downstairs for a minute. All right, turning this back on so if I screwed up, you can see me be annoyed. Oh. Well then. Oh, f Well, <laughs> that's exactly why I wanted to turn the camera on first. That's where I thought it was coming out. And that's where I actually came out. <laughs> oh, I'm going to take a breather, enjoy some grown up apple juice and recharge the batteries and recharge myself. And then what I will do is I'm going to take, I've got a masonry bit that's like 18 inches long. I'm going to drill it up through that corner and then leave it there. Then I can climb back up into the roof and find where it's sticking through and I'll know where to put the box and where to run the conduit. <laughs> Little wiggly. Right about there. There, hopefully that'll stay there. This is the strapping I was talking about. So if I'm gonna go back upstairs, so this is the stuff I was talking about that I'm going to use to strap the two conduits that are carrying the BX up. Hello. That's where I thought I needed to be. That's right above the stairs. That's where I actually needed to be. <laughs> ah. If you ever wonder why you, you always see random bruises on my arm, my legs, my back, this is why. There's the hole right there. I'd like to have it right there. That's not going to happen. 
Well, that's okay. I'm gonna have to patch the roof already. So if I come over here, what is that? If I come over a little ways, it should be okay. Come on. Ladies and other fairer members. It's true that guys have a lot more strength than we do. That's fine. We just have to be more persistent. Fuck it, that's good. That is actually good enough. Okay. I think that's good enough. Now, for anyone who is inevitably going to say, you're doing work in a box you can't see and it's got power in it. No, it doesn't. It's dark. Oh, there goes the light. You gonna focus better? Oh yeah, it looks like you're focusing better now. All right. She ain't pretty, but she's secure. Yep, that's nice and solid. All right, so these wires are gonna have to go up through there via these. All I need to do is just get it up in there enough that I can grab it later and pull it rest of the way up. That should do it. I can grab the wire and pull it up rest of the way later. All right, that's on tighter. That's on tighter. That's good. There. The bottom of the sole decks has been attached. Now, these two are going to be good. This one could fall, so I'm going to strap it. This is just enough to hold it so it has less chance of falling out before I get on the roof tomorrow. I might tighten it up a little bit more. That's a bit more secure. There. So, summary of what we've done. That is where the two existing conduits with the BX going down to the basement where the batteries will eventually live. And I can get under here. That conduit goes to the ceiling above where we do the filming and goes up to that side of the solo, solo deck box. This poor camera is getting beat to hell. All I need to do now is clean up and get out of here and then tomorrow, assuming it's not too hot up on the roof, I'll pop the top of the solo decks and put, that's the ring for the conduit. These are the rings for the BX collars. Those have to be put onto the other side and clamp, no, sorry, those have to be put onto the other side to hold these cables in place. At that point, we should not have to come back up into this attic. I will temporarily run the 10 gauge down the conduit 
to learn how to use the MPPTs. And once it's all sorted, that cable will be ripped out, the conduit will be left, because the wires I'm using are not to code. These shielded BX are to code, and they're the long-term ones that will go down into the basement. You'll see them at another time. I should also mention the two BX have a grounding wire. They will be connected, the solo deck will be grounded, and I will run a, a grounding line from the solo deck over to the rails that the solar panels are on. I just haven't done that yet. Now the cleanup begins. That's enough for this one. Next episode, I'll cut the hole in the ceiling, mount the box, put the banana plugs in, run the wires down, and connect it to the MPP as MPPT as soon as I manage to kill the battery. I'm the Digital Mermaid. I stink. See you next time.